In this video, we'll be discussing about the mechanism of PDGFR TEL ETV6 activation. Basically, we get the transformation of proto oncogene into oncogene from this mechanism. Here in this pathway, we are going to see the receptor in the form of platelet derived growth factor receptor that's PDGF beta receptor. It's a type of RTK that's receptor tyrosine kinase. And for this receptor, we have a ligand as platelet derived growth factor, PDGF. It acts on this receptor in homodimer form. And now we have an important gene for this mechanism that's TEL gene or ETV6 gene. It is a proto oncogene that regulates growth, development, and differentiation of different cells. It's when this proto oncogene transforms into oncogene, it then constitutively activates RTK. That then leads to malignancy. First of all, let's see the mechanism which turns this proto oncogene into oncogene. Here we see we have the ETV6 or TEL gene that is present on chromosome number 12 at P13 position. And then we have other gene that is PDGFR gene on chromosome number 5 at Q32 position. So what happens is actually the chromosomal translocation between these two genes referred as T512 translocation with positions as Q33 and P13 positions. And this translocation gives us a gene namely PDGFR beta ETV6 fused gene, which is the oncogene. And from this gene, we get the fusion protein in the form of chimeric protein. And this protein is present within the PDGFR receptor itself, which then constitutively activates this PDGFR receptor, a kind of receptor tyrosine kinase. Now let's get to the mechanism through animation and see how we get the normal activation of PDGFR receptor and continuous activation of fused PDGFR receptor separately. First of all, we see a signaling when we have proto-oncogene that's under normal conditions. Here in this diagram, we have a plasma membrane on which two monomers of PDGF receptor are present. Both monomers have inactive tyrosine kinase domains in the cytoplasmic end as shown in the diagram. Then we have homodimer of PDGF that comes in and binds both the monomers of receptor as shown in the diagram. This mediates the receptor dimerization itself when both the monomers come in close proximity. Then after dimerization, we get the cross phosphorylation of kinase domains on PDGF receptor. And by this mechanism, we get the activation of PDGF receptor. Now from here, many different signaling pathways are initiated within the cell. And after signaling is completed, the signaling is stopped at the receptor level. On the other hand, when we have chromosomal translocation as described earlier, where we get the oncogene, that time we get the mutated PDGF receptor along with ETV6 fused protein on its extracellular domain. Here in this animation, we see this part of PDGF receptor is replaced with oncoprotein containing TEL ETV6 fused protein as shown in the animation. One thing to be noted here is that this animation is only for illustration purposes. Otherwise, the actual PDGF receptor with ETV6 fusion protein is generated at transcription level after chromosomal translocation. So this animation is just for illustration to understand it in a better way. Now getting back to the receptor. So this oncogene encoded fusion protein replaces normal extracellular domain of PDGF receptor thereby generating a modified PDGF receptor and this receptor itself dimerizes the two monomers of PDGF receptor thus initiating the signal without the presence of any extracellular ligand. It must be noted here that it is the presence of PNT domain in ETV6 protein which has capability of self-dimerization. Moving further, we see this signaling by mutated PDGF receptor itself leads constitutive activation of kinase domains of PDGF receptor, which always keeps the signal on that leads to cancer. And few things to remember here is that the oncoprotein is highly stable due to its resistance to ubiquitin proteasome degradation. So this is how we get the transformation of proto-oncogene into oncogene, while receptor tyrosine kinase PDGF receptor remains always active. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.